Hey guys, welcome back. Continuing where we left off in the last video, I've started filling up the rack with all the components. Here you can see I finished installing the second patch panel with keystones as I laid them out in my predetermined plan. And I've continued filling the rack row by row with all the components. We see that the two switches are now installed and that both the patch panels and switches have basically been sandwiched between the cable arranging panels. Here you can also see where I leave the excess cable. I've made bundles from them using velcro straps and I've basically routed them above and behind the cabinet to hide them a bit out of sight. I might make a sort of black cloth or wooden barrier to hide them in the future, but to be honest, I'm not really bothered by it like this either. Okay, rack component install finished. Everything is installed and I have some more spare room in the bot. I even managed to hide my cable modem in one of the sides of the rack. I've already cabled the 10 gigabit connections and the internet uplink. As you can see, the cable arrangement panels are doing their job of hiding the cables quite nicely. During installation, I ran into a slight problem with these crossbeams. Luckily, they were easy to move. For the people watching who've never worked on a rack before, let's take a look at how hanging something in a rack actually works. To hang equipment on the rails, you need a rack screw and nut. Often a washer is included to make sure of a tight fit and prevent damage. The nut clicks inside of the rails and you can then use the screw to hold equipment in place. And that's it. Okay, all of the most important cables are done, so let's take another look at the rack. Starting off with the door closed, you can see everything is neatly tucked away. Moving down with the door open, you can easily see that you can access all the wires if you need to. Here, you can also see the cables coming from my router to the power injector panel. After going through the power injector panel, they go into a patch to my access points. I plan on using different color cables for different purposes in the future. Here is a quick demonstration of how the wire arrangement panels work. There is a metal cover hiding the cables out of sight. If you need the router cable, you remove it and place it back when you're done. Taking a look at how it changed the room, you can see it made quite a big impact. I've turned my desk to face the other wall and gained a lot of space in the room. In the future, I plan to do a custom oak desk project so stay subscribed for that. Here is a shot from my sitting position. The cabinet is very well out of my direct space and doesn't interfere with my desk in any way. I'm very happy with how it turned out. There is also no noise to speak of. Only the router has a fan in it but since I replaced that fan with a Noctua model, it's basically dead silent. And that's it for this project. As I mentioned, my custom desk is a project I'm hoping to start soon, and I will also be building a custom 2U AMD Ryzen rack server, so make sure to check out those videos too. As always, questions and comments are welcome in the comments down below, and let me know what you think.